What's up guys, how you doing? I hope you've all had a great week. If you haven't been to my channel before, my name's Philip Scrabber. I'm here to teach you about film and photography. If you have, welcome back. Today we're talking about sensor cleaning. My good friend, and as it happens to be, my neighbor as well, um, asked me to clean a sensor yesterday. So I thought that would be a good film for you guys to see because it's something that we don't do too often and if we do it we're really scared and if we don't know how to do it we send it away and spend ridiculous amounts of money for somebody else to clean it. So today we're going to be talking about that. Warning! Warning! Whoa whoa whoa! Before we get into that I just want to do a big huge I mean like whoo, warning. Um, if you're afraid to do this, if you are not confident enough to do this, if you don't want to do this don't do it. I'm not responsible for any of your actions. Um, this is expensive stuff. You don't want to break it. You do not want to break it. The, the sensor inside here, um, it's like, it's like, I don't know, heart surgery. It's like if, if you want to play with a car's engine, you just bought yourself a new Ferrari. Okay, not a Ferrari, a Ford. And you want to play with the engine, you don't know what to do. It, take it to a mechanic. Same with this guy. If you don't know, if you're not confident, um, take it to the camera shop. Um, but on another note, it's really simple. It really is. Um, you don't have to be afraid. Um, there really isn't many ways that you can ruin your sensor, but this is my warning. I'm not responsible. Your actions, your own. If you want to break your sensor, go ahead and break it. Anyway, let's roll the intro. Right, so before we get started, I'm just going to give you a little bit of anecdote. It's going to be quick, don't worry, you can either listen or you can skip ahead like a minute and a half. Um, I really, really screwed up on third year film school. I was filming my film in the Polish seaside, these beautiful, huge dunes, sand dunes. They're actually moving sand dunes. So they move, it's a pretty cool place, it's called um, Weber. Um, and I was doing my third year film for our like the end of year exam and we didn't realize it was going to be so windy and we we're filming on Kodak film stock on an ARRI camera and I tried to do everything to stop the wind. I put plastic bags on, straps, everything and I thought everything was going to be fine until I got back my processed film. Whew, um, I almost had, I have definitely had tears in my eyes because back then, you know, filming, creating a film, it would take months, you know, buying film stock was like really expensive. Um, getting it processed, everything, it was ridiculously expensive. So when I got my film back, the film, it just had scratches. It was just going, the fit was running and, you know, it just, just scratches everywhere. It was absolutely horrible. I almost got thrown out of school, but I pleaded with them. I said, please don't throw me out. I'm going to make a film within a month. It's going to be awesome. And that's exactly what I did. I made a film, got an A plus and boom. Yeah. <laughs> so that was like analog um, sensor cleaning mistake thing. It was a nightmare. But anyway, we're talking about one of these guys or DSLR if you have it. This guy is pretty dirty. Um, let me show you. So right there, you can see specs on the sensor. This is a mirrorless camera, the Sony a7R III. So um, it's pretty dirty and that shows up, it shows up. So always keep your camera cap on. Always keep your lens cap on and front and back, you know, it's, a I have filters on every single one of my lenses just because I hate dust. I hate it getting in here. Um, if you don't have your camera cap, make sure you have your lens on there. Just keep this open as little as possible. There is dust everywhere, wherever you go. Um, make sure you're in a controlled environment when you're changing lenses because if you're out there and you're on the beach and it's sandy and you open this guy up, whoo, 
my whole analog film story, if you get sand in here and it scratches your sensor, you might as well just throw this away with the trash because I don't even want to think about it. I would have nightmares. So um, yeah, be really careful. And if you're cleaning, like I'm about to clean, I'm about to show you how to do this. Do it in a closed room environment. You don't have to wear like a wetsuit and stuff. Just make sure it's not dusty. There's no one no drilling or sawing wood somewhere. Just make sure it's quiet, nice, clean. Um, yeah, just be careful. Right, so what you're gonna need to clean your camera is a rocket blower, something like this. Um, don't use compressed air because compressed air is normally very strong. If you hold it the wrong way, it will freeze your sensor. It's It will blow like dust inside. It will make everything crazy dusty. This is, you can just be really delicate or you can like, you know, blow like crazy. Um, and this, this is a cleaning kit from VS Go, this Go. And each one of these kits has a different sensor size. So you've got, um, this is like the 35 millimeter sensor size. So it's perfect for the Sony a7 III series. Um, and that's all you actually need to do this. And in a minute, I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's really simple. But like I said, if you're not careful, you're gonna break stuff. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a mirrorless camera and you have DSLR, so you have a mirror, where the sensor is, um, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go into the menu, you're gonna have to find sensor cleaning, and there should, uh, blah, blah, blah. there should usually be a few options. You're gonna have auto, which means that the sensor kind of vibrates to get all the particles to fall off, which doesn't usually do much, I've noticed. Um, and you're gonna have a manual option where the mirror will flip up and so you can clean the sensor. Now the older DSLRs won't have any sense cleaning options at all. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to scroll all the way when you get past 30 seconds and it will go into bulb. You get someone to press it and hold so the mirror flips up into bulb. You'll clean the sensor, they'll let go and Bob's your uncle, it's done. Now mirrorless cameras, they attract dust for some reason. It's maybe because they don't have the mirror. Um, if you are blowing out dust, make sure you do it like this, upside down, and you're blowing around the sensor. And that's it, and put the cap back on. Um, now if you have a sensor like mine, really filthy, it is not going to be clean. As you can see, there are particles on that sensor. They do not look nice, and they do show up in photos and films. So that will wreck any photo you do. Now if you're filming with those kind of particles on, um, that's gonna wreck your whole film. Your client's gonna tell you to shove it and you know, it's gonna be an absolute nightmare for you. This kit, if you open it up, uh, it comes with vacuum sealed um, swabs. Um, so they have absolutely no dust on them. And a sensor cleaning solution right there. Now the sensor cleaning solution has a little cap on it. Let's just get a little bit of focus that you pull off and make sure you keep that so you can put it back on each time. There it is. And put it back on when you've finished. Now the sensor cleaning kit comes with a whole load of these guys. Um, it states to use a dry one, a wet one, a dry one. I usually only use one. Um, I'm gonna show you right now how to do it. You're gonna have to set your camera down on the table. Um, I'm actually gonna change views, put on a macro lens and show you really closely exactly what I'm doing and how I'm doing it so you're confident enough to do it. We're gonna do this really quickly. What you're gonna have to do is take your cap off your camera, use your rocket blower to blow it inside the sensor. So now that we've blown the sensor upside down, you can see what I have here. I'm gonna try and be really delicate, but this is your sensor. And you can see the little particles on the sensor there. Now you can blow as much as you want, that is not coming off. So what you're gonna to have to do is clean it. You're gonna take 
your full frame cleaning swab. You're going to open it. That's what it looks like. You're going to take your cleaning solution and you're going to very carefully take off the cap, obviously. <laughs> you're going to very carefully put some of that solution, as you can see I spilt it, thankfully not inside my camera, onto your swab. Then we're going to take the camera, put it down, and we're going to give it a really good clean. Now that is one clean sensor. Once you've done that, throw this away, put the camera cap back on quickly, and boom. And that's it. It's clean. How awesome is that? And you've saved a lot of money. So remember, remember, be careful. Um, keep your camera clean. Make sure you're professional because if you're going on a shoot, you've got a client and you've got these blobs all over, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. You're going to be editing like crazy, especially if you have like a blob on someone's eye, a blob on someone's hair. That's an absolute nightmare. Make sure your sensor is clean. Be professional and be really careful when you're doing it. Remember, I am not responsible for any of your actions when you're cleaning your sensor. Anyway, that's about it for today. If you have any questions, if you have anything actually just write in the comments below um, make sure you give me a thumbs up if you like my film and it helped you um, press the subscribe button um, ring that bell and um, I'll catch you on the other side